The Life and Sad Ending of Trevor Goddard Trevor Joseph Goddard was born on the 14th of October in 1962 in Croydon, London, England. His parents, Eric and Clara, and baby Goddard, moved to Bromley, Kent, where they grew up. As a natural athlete, Goddard was highly interested in sports. As a youngster, he played football and cricket and enjoyed running as well as many other recreational activities. But his greatest passion was boxing. He was a light heavyweight, a 58-1-1 record out of total of 60 fights. He had also been invited to fight in the U.S. And come to America he did in 1986 with a couple of his friends. Goddard and his mates enjoyed a great deal during their stay in New York. Goddard even bought a car. After three weeks of entertainment and relaxation, his friends returned home and Goddard remained in the United States. In the early 90s, he began a career as an actor. Goddard worked regularly on TV. He made guest appearances on TV series such as Baywatch in 1989 and Silk Stockings in 1991. Eventually, he landed a leading role as the villainous, psychotic, yet charismatic Kiefer in Men of War in 1994, opposite action star Dolph Lundgren, as well as Kevin Tai, Catherine Bell, Tom Wright, and B.D. Wong. From that moment on, Goddard was usually typecast as crazy, offbeat villains. That was born out of, again, the popular video game-based motion picture Mortal Kombat in 1995, in which Goddard played the criminal called Kano. With his rugged looks, muscular physique, and gruff voice, he made this Kano internationally famous, even providing him with the Australian accent. Although he was English-born, Goddard had quite an ability to disguise his accent as Australian which he continued to do in voice acting roles for subsequent video games. Goddard played supporting roles in such movies, usually action films, as Illegal in Blue in 1995, Yesterday's Target in 1996, which was for TV, Fast Money in 1996, Prey of the Jaguar, also in 96, The Assault of Devil's Island, in 97, in which he co-starred with Hulk Hogan, Carl Weathers, Billy Drago, and Martin Cove for the TV special. He appeared in a few dramatic comedies, such as She's Too Tall in 1999, as a crazy in-love parking lot attendant, and Some Girl in 1998 as Ravi. He appeared in an uncredited role in Gone in 60 Seconds in 2000, opposite such famous names as Nicolas Cage, Angelina Jolie, Robert Duvall, Vinnie Jones, Timothy Oliphant, and Delroy Lindo, and also When Billy Beat Bobby in 2001. Once again, Godard achieved international fame with the popular TV series Jag in 1995, where he appeared from 1998 to 2001 as Lieutenant Commander Mick Brumby. The show made Goddard a well-known personality to the world audience and greatly increased his fan base. Goddard played his first and only leading role in Hollywood Vampire 2002 as a gothic vampire called Blood. His last film was the blockbuster Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl in 2003. Prior to his death, Goddard was considered to replace Pierce Brosnan as James Bond in Casino Royale in 2006. In personal life, Goddard married actress Ruthen McCarthy in 1991, and they had two sons. Sadly, Goddard was found dead on June 7, 2003, in his home in North Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, at the age of 40. 
it was revealed that he was in the process of getting a divorce from his wife and was in and off out of a relationship with another woman who sought to distance herself from him due to his drug abuse and refusal to seek professional help. An autopsy later showed that the cause of his death was a drug overdose of heroin, cocaine, temzepam, and Vicodin. However, his death was ruled accidental. He was cremated and the ashes were given to his family.